Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss one more development of the lateral surface of truncated prism. The two pentagonal prism. In the last video, we discussed a hexagonal prism, how to develop a hexagonal prism based on the parallel line development method. Read the question. A pentagonal prism, side of base 25 mm and height 50 mm, rests with its base on HP such that an edge of the base is parallel to VP and nearer to the observer. It is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP inclined at 45 degree to HP and passing through the center of the axis. Draw the development of the lateral surface of the truncated prism. Friends, uh, whenever you read the question, the first and foremost step, you have to identify the position of the solid. Here the solid is pentagonal prism. You have to identify the position of pentagon in the top and front view. So, as base is on HP, we know that pentagon will be the base, which means top view. Uh, and front view will be a rectangle. That is clear because base is on HP, pentagon is the top view, rectangle is the front view such that an edge of the base is parallel to VP. It will help us to identify the position of pentagon with respect to XY reference line. One edge must be parallel to VP. In this case, one edge must be parallel to XY and nearer to the observer. It is not far away from the observer. It must be nearer to the observer. So let's see what is the position of pentagon as nearer to the observer. Friends, you can see here, this is a pentagon where we are having five sides of pentagon. This one edge which is parallel to XY. You can make a name, notations as A, B, C, D, E is the top face of a pentagon and a P, Q, R, S, T is the base pentagon. Okay, in prism we are going to have uh, two uh, pentagon plane surface, one at the top base, another one at the base. If you check here, this AB, AB is the side or edge which is parallel to XY, which means parallel to VP. What is nearer to observer? You are all very familiar with how to represent the notations in front view. While marking notations in the front view, what are all the visible corners here? E. A, B, C. How you are saying this? As an observer, you are assuming you are standing here. As an observer, you are assuming you are standing here. That's why we can say uh, this E, A, B, C corner is visible. D is invisible. If you check this edge, A, B, edge, which is nearer to the observer, whoever standing here. Okay. So, the condition is satisfied. A, B is an edge, which is parallel to AB or PQ, okay, base edge, if it is parallel to XY, so parallel to VP at the same time, it is nearer to the observer because observer is standing here, okay, now after completing the top view, extend all the corners by means of a vertical projector and complete your front view, what is the height of front view, it is 50 mm. We know that all the corners E, A, B, C is visible, but D is invisible. It must be represented in a hidden lines. Okay, now we can give a notations P dash, P dash is visible, P Q dash and R dash also visible. What about S dash? It is invisible. Similarly, we can complete the top face of pentagon as E, A, B, C, uh, D. In this case, E dash, A dash, B dash, C dash is visible, D dash is invisible, this corner. Okay, this is the simple position of solid without a section plane. Now, you may ask me, whenever we are uh, drawing a simple position for development or section of solid problem, you have to start with thin lines. After Completing the section plane, we have to identify the removed and remaining portion of the solid. The remaining portion must be converted into thick lines. Now, I am very uh, confident about the answer. This entire pentagon will be visible. That's why I started with thick lines. 
in case if you are not aware of your answer always start with thin lines okay now read the section plane condition it is cut by a plane perpendicular to vp inclined at 45 degree to hp so 45 degree from xy passing through the center of the axis what is the height of axis it is 50 mm center of the axis means you have to take 25 mm so draw a line uh, parallel to xy which is at the distance of 25 mm center of the axis and now you can draw a 45 degree inclination line which is exactly passing through this center point of the axis the inclination of the line is 45 degree now we can shift this thin inclined line into a section plane representation thick line followed by a dot and small dash in both the ends okay now this top portion is the removed and bottom portion is the remaining portion we can convert the remaining portion of the solid into thick lines don't forget to convert all the longer edges all the longer edges the remaining portion of the longer edges is the visible thick lines okay this part is invisible that's why it is uh, left as it is in the hidden line so this is the section plane and we identified the removed and remaining portion of the solid if you see this entire uh, this is the first cutting point of section plane this is the last cutting point of section plane so if you extend the projector this entire pentagon is visible in our question they asked only the development of the lateral surface of the truncated prism in case a question called draw the sectional top view means you have to do a hatching of this entire pentagon that is our sectional top view once again i repeat in case in the same question sectional top view is asked you have to mark this uh, mark as hatching of entire pentagon this is our sectional top view now we can identify the cutting points of section plane first cutting point on t dash e dash t dash and e dash this is point 1 dash next cutting point of section plane on a dash and p dash make it as 2 dash next we have to check e t first then a p then we have to check b q not d s so next one is b q p dash and q dash this is where the section plane is cutting make it as 3 dash next is c r c dash and r dash correspondingly this is the cutting point of section plane 4 dash the final corner is d and s here this is the five fifth cutting point still it is invisible from the front view as an observer you are standing here it is d and s is invisible so that's why this phi dash is marked in the bracket now all the cutting points of section plane also identified we have to move on to the development of the lateral surface after identifying the cutting points of section planes now we have to draw two stretch out lines one at the top face another one at the base i extended the base stretch out line as xy now i have drawn one more stretch out line in the top face now we have to draw five equal rectangles what is the size or side of the base side of rectangle is 25 height is 50 mm the base side and height this is what we are going to use for complete a rectangle why five rectangles being pentagon we are having five sides each side possessing one rectangle so don't forget to give a notations from here the first uh, longer edge is e dash and t dash so start with et next one is a dash and p dash so next one is ap and followed by b and q p and q then followed by you uh, can follow here et ap bq cr rather than the front view here you may have a chance of drawing ds as the third uh, line third longer edge so you can follow here et so first started with et next followed by ap then followed by pq next one is c and r then last one is ds uh, 
the final rectangle is again the longer edge is ET. The final rectangle again the longer edge is ET. Each uh, base TP25, PQ25, QR25, RS25, ST25. Now you have to extend this cutting points of section plane transfer to this development as parallel to XY. From the section point 1 dash draw a horizontal line. Draw a horizontal line mark 1 on ET. Here it is ENT longer edge. On E dash T dash we are having 1 dash. So mark 1. Similarly here also 1 ET longer edge mark 1 here. So next from the section point 2 draw a horizontal line until it cuts A dash and P dash. So similarly here AP mark 2. Mark 2. And next one is 3 dash. From the 3 dash section uh, point you can extend until it cuts the corresponding longer edges B dash Q dash in the development BQ. Next one is 4 dash. You can draw a horizontal line until it cuts the corresponding edge longer edge C dash R dash. Here it is C R. This is the meeting point make it as 4. Last one is 5 dash which is on D dash S dash. So you extend a horizontal line and mark 5 on this meeting point on the longer edge TS. Now we identified all the cutting points of the section plane in the development. So now we can complete the development from the base. It is completely visible thick line. Then T21, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3. Then you can join 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 1, and 1 to T. Now we have to convert all the visible remaining longer edges. See P dash to 2 dash. So convert P to 2 is the remaining portion of the solid. Similarly, Q dash to 3 dash. So you can join Q3 on R4. R dash to 4 dash is visible. Make it as Rn4. This is the remaining portion of the solid. In between in the in between this uh, uh, longer edges, you can draw everything as a thick line. The top most is the removed portion of the solid. The bottom of it is the remaining portion of the solid. So this is the final development of lateral surface of truncated pentagonal prism. I hope it is very simple and easy problem. I hope you understand this problem clearly. If you wish to see the video of hexagonal prism development, check the description box for a link or you can check the channel playlist for development of surfaces, remaining problems like pyramid, cone and cylinder. Thank you.